Hi there, and welcome back to the Scourge of War Waterloo once again, folks. I'm your host, Pupichu Chu, as always, and well, I wanted to do one more video on this game, but unfortunately, uh, well, as you may have noticed, in the past we've had some sound issues with the, the larger battles, especially when the frame rate gets low. So, um, what I think I'll do this time is that I've changed my recording settings. It, it's not as optimal in the sense that the file will be bigger and the quality will be lower, but hopefully we can avoid those issues. So uh, if you didn't catch that little blurb courier message there. Today we are on the offense. We're playing a scenario later inside the day, so it's 1800 hours and we have about 13 minutes to make an assault onto the French uh, I think right flank over here. The thing is uh, this time we command a almost a full force I should say. It doesn't look like we command the gun batteries over here but we command all of these units are playing as the Prussians today so we have a ton of uh, infantry for this battle and I think that's pretty much it. Do we get our own gun battery? It would seem as though we do so that is very very good. Yeah so we get oh and some cavalry to go along with that so this is very very nice. Uh, we get uh, a fair amount of troops to play around with for today, but we only have 30 minutes or so, so we better hurry. Right, objective for the day, take the uh, take the, the, the cathedral over here up along the heights, and with that said, I think we'll get things started. I'm under the impression that the French here have their uh, guns wide open, so hey, you never know, we might be able to sneak our men in there and uh, well we will see shortly I guess right so hopefully the uh, the frame rate will hold um, but if uh, honestly if it gets any worse I think we might get back into that stuttering issue I don't know though we'll we'll have to see for now let's get our men deployed over here I'm under the f impression that the French will make a bit of a play for our sides one thing that they really need to add to the game, in my opinion, is the uh, the Total War camera setting, where if you press spacebar, it doesn't raise your camera. It, um, it, it opens it up so that you can see where your troops are most likely going to be deployed. I find that really, really handy. Uh, right now, I want these people to scatter and to just get set up, mostly given that they're taking a pummeling where they are right now. Okay, the forces up on top of the hill can wait for a while. Do we control these people? Yes, we do. They seem to be moving all along their own uh, fronts. So that's good and bad. So here, I know you can't see that very well. These forces here are, are in the in a tree line. Again, I, I, I honestly don't know. I haven't used recording quality settings this low. Uh, but it should still be fairly visible, hopefully. I don't know, you might not be able to read some of the fine details on the panels here, but apart from that, I hope the frame rate will hold. So yeah, these people have uh, a line of fire onto the, onto the cathedral. That is, for the most part, honestly, exactly what I want. And again, let's get these people to set up nice and properly. And I'm going to give them some um, some reserves. My idea is to probe this area, see whether or not we can get our cavalry to make a charge for the guns in the near future and over here. And again, I want to tie down the French so that they can't move into any of those lovely buildings that they have. So we'll try and see what we can do about that. These guys over here, uh, let's see, lie down. Nope, line, yes. Uh, we don't have the same options here as we, as we once did. I want them to advance, but uh, I don't have that as a as a strict option so you know what press forwards over there and I think we're just conducting a, an assault like this the main thing is that I want the the French guns to to stop firing on our on, on our forces as well as they they currently can there we go now they can make a bit of an advance perfect so, um, I can see my frame rate here, you guys cannot. Uh, despite the game looking quite old, I mean, understandably, with such a large amount of units, and, well, the fact that I'm recording this as well, I only get about 20 frames. Uh, by, like, by no means is it not playable, but for recording purposes, obviously, we're, we're having a few issues here. And again, advance when engaged. These people set up. 
and they seem to be able to fire so that is very very good let's see what do we have here Yeah, so our people are trying are, are starting to push through here. Some light yeah, some skirmish lines there. And our forces back here are uh, are doing their thing. How are we doing on the flank here? So things are being engaged. This unit is unfortunately being blocked by what I presume to be the uh, the forces in their front. Eh, in this case, I'd say that they can shoot over them, but uh, maybe, maybe not. How about these people right over here? Can they at least shoot at them? No, nope, apparently not. Okay. So we'll let the side develop here. Right now, I think silencing the, uh, the French guns will be a priority. And again, the issue is I don't want to get our forces too close to them. But this is just ripe for the picking. I don't know whether or not there are any French infantry uh, behind the hills there is the biggest issue. So, you know what? Here, I think we'll be concealed behind the buildings enough to the point where we can maybe make a play there. And these forces will start to move forwards. So it is nice having such a large amount of uh, of our own forces here on the field. Yep, and the Prussian troops should be. Oh well, they're they're not that great. These are so this is a land aware unit that makes more sense. That's kind of why they're not that great. This is an actual unit. No, I thought the Fusiliers would have been at least on par with the. Uh, with the, what am I trying to say here? With the British units, but no. Okay, so the building is taking some dam damage. These things... Eh, I really want to say that there's no infantry behind those cannons, but, you know, the minute I say that, I'm probably going to lose them all. Come on. Air, that'll get ourselves some reserve units to play around with. And now, hmm, these seem to be real professional battalions, so ooh, making a charge here is a difficult call. Alright, so if I do charge him, I can trade space for time, probably. Here, yeah, we'll see whether or not we can take to the field. Either way, I don't think we can see behind those cannons unless we get rid of this unit right here. Stop movement. That should put them right in firing range. And right over here, we are causing the French a lot of casualties for what it's worth. Come on, you stop shifting your, your forces. The good thing is that, from the looks of it, the guns are, are cleared as best as we can tell. Our cavalry is taking a beating. Uh, you know what? I think I will call for a charge. Yeah, I want those guns removed, and currently we're taking a lot of casualties just sitting around, so you know what? We will do exactly that. Over here, I, I, I doubt I really need a security force to uh, protect our own cannon emplacements. The French are tied... Uh, for what it's worth and we have yeah the rest of the prussian army we're, we, we technically we're covering their flank but i mean 
In a reality, for the sake of this battle, I doubt we need to worry about it. I see some cavalry back there, though. Might be of issue. Might not be. Who knows? Here, I think we go and we, uh... Nope. Halt. Nope. Eh, you know what? We'll do it the hard way. I'll charge these people. The, uh... Either way. I think the militiamen stand a decent chance over here. These people have to be really, really exhausted by by now. Come on. There we go. Yeah, taking a look at the losses. 100 losses to 200 kills. Our losses are definitely climbing higher here than I would like. But uh, that seems to be the, the rest of the French lines. So... Regroup. No, not like that. Ah. All right. Well, without any luck, our orders there would have gone through. That should set them up nicely. Skirmishers aren't doing exactly what I tell them to, but I think that's that's just how skirmishers behave in the game. see the cavalry inching closer so with that said let's redeploy them over here yeah with any luck our uh, or the current amount of fire we're putting down on that area should be good and we'll just let that area develop And okay. Come on. So, correct me if I'm wrong here, but if I, uh... Hmm. Nothing seems to happen if I order a charge into, uh, into them, but you know what? We'll, we'll see. We'll see whether or not we can do something like this. And they've been broken over here. I don't mind the skirmishers taking a bit of the damage. These people are... They're, they're not that great, surprisingly. Uh, but either way, they're absorbing shots. So all well and good. Now this cavalry charge doesn't necessarily have to go through, I want to say. So long as we can scare the uh, the guns into repositioning, I think we'll be fine. There we go. And you'll see that because we're playing from a um, from a very broad perspective, it looks like the AI commanders will just kind of kind of stay up here. They'll do their thing, really. To try to follow their own forces and try to uh, really command them the best they can. Let's see. Oh no, these people have been routed without causing a single casualty. Hmm. But nevertheless, I made the uh, the the gun batteries pull back. Right, so not bad. Let's get you. To 
pull back over there. How are we doing on the front here? Casualties are mounting up for them. So that's all well and good. Alright, so things are good over here. So I think with the, uh, the the guns pulling back, we've we've made a bit of a hole here. But nevertheless, if I want to put more fire onto the uh, the building here, I'm going to have to split my forces. In fact, why don't we demonstrate that right now? I'm going to see whether or not I can uh, detach any forces here. I'm not too familiar with the with the game and all, so bear with me here. Well, I don't seem to be able to do it. So in that case, I'll go with what I had intended to do. Put some pressure onto the building with our uh, line infantry over here. I'm going to get the skirmishers to move even further. And no, this is all uh, this is all nothingness. So let's see. We need more infantry on the front. Ah, that's why. Okay, no, never mind. I've been issuing orders to the uh, the skirmishers, which seem to just automatically detach. Come on, they're chasing the skirmishers here. Fire. Don't really know what's happening here. Why? Uh, why they're not firing? But, uh, or I guess it's because they, they see that friendlies are in the way. No, they're not apparently blocking anything. I want them to just, come on, fire onto the French Cav. But no. Yeah, and there you go, the AI is uh, trying to protect themselves by forming a square there. Over here, our people are marching right up next to the walls of the... Uh, the place and they are advancing further. I'm going to issue an order to halt here, but they are right up next next door firing into the uh, into the building over here. Let's see. So they still have a few gun batteries active, which are putting some pressure onto our forces. How did these people break? Oh, well, that's what they get for not shooting, really. Yeah, well, I can't really do anything about that. If they don't want to take orders, then, ah, uh, you know what? We'll chuck it up to incompetence of uh, whoever is commanding this unit. Uh, they'll have some support here from uh, those guys, but don't think we'll be able to rotate anything to help them out. Well, at least they've paused in firing range. Come on. And it's like, <laughs> I'm not issuing these movement orders so there's, there's yeah there's definitely some pros and cons of the uh, the system that they have set up here all right well let's see we'll get uh, we'll get some of the infantry to try to 
keep these forces at bay. Why are they... There. Maybe I really do need to lock these uh, forces into the taking absolutely no commands from the AI mode. My reason being is that they've made a yeah mockery of what's happening over here. I really need to, to get back to uh, their original positions. Right, so that should help things out. Yeah, these people are starting to fire. Come on. Things were going so well, and now the uh, ah, they keep wanting to form those squares, but it's like you really don't need to. No, it's like, do do not take charge from this person. No, like, do, do. yeah, force move, go. There we go. Right, we still have time to turn this around, so that's not too bad. Okay, so with any luck, we will hopefully be able to route the uh, the cavalry or anything really over here, or at least push them back to the other bank. My reason being that... Uh no, church. Oh, my god. Halt. No. I wanted to charge over here, that way I uh, wanted to use this area over here to fire on the building. But apparently that wasn't an option and you can't cancel the charges. That that part, you know, rightfully so, if you commit to a charge, it typically I would imagine be very difficult to cancel it. Uh, the bad thing is that it really... <laughs> it should really preview what target it selects because as we've seen, in both of the times I've used that order, it chooses the uh, it chooses the target that I don't want. It's okay, we have reserves. It's a pretty grim way to look at it now, isn't it?
Uh, these forces are low on fatigue as well, thanks to the sheer amount of repositioning we need to do. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised if their calf came in here. Ordinarily, the the ravine the ravine would slow them down enough to the point where they couldn't really do anything about it. But uh, in this case, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. If I order another charge, would they charge the people up there? I don't know. Maybe we can just force movement, get ourselves uh, situated somewhere better. Oh, come on. Get up there. Form a line. You know what? You make a charge. Afterwards, I'm going to have to check whether or not there are any options to stop this type of thing. I mean, currently it is really frustrating how uh, how they how the how the the game decides whether or not to reposition troops like that. Like, I think it'd work, but uh, it really needs some, like, profiles for that uh, that type of automated control. It's, like, low, high, medium type of deal, where it's it's great for, where, you know, I'd imagine it's great for the bigger, um, like, nine-hour full army control type of uh, type of game. But for a battle like this size, it's it's honestly kind of excessive. So I mean, currently over here now things are yeah things are starting to get a little bit better. They are mounting from the looks of it cavalry and things to uh, to try to make a I don't know a counterattack maybe, but nothing's going to happen there. The main thing still is we need to bring more guns onto the building. We only have about twenty minutes left. So the question now is whether or not we can get enough uh, firepower onto this thing. The only way we can is if uh, people start flooding into this area. So for example, uh, I think I'll just commit everything here. I mean, when we lose, it doesn't really matter. But we'll see. French tried to make a charge here. They've surrendered. Uh, you know what? Here. Hey, there we go. The one time it worked. Our forces are at full morale, uh, their fatigue levels are very, very low. One French unit has already surrendered, and a hey, didn't work again. Oh, don't charge in the opposite direction. Where is this even going? I have no idea where this charge is, <laughs> is going. Let's see, they are, they're apparently retreating. Don't really know why they are retreating, but they are. Okay, well at least that worked. Alright, well that handles things over there. Uh, the French have, I think, exited the building. Let's 
let's get the remainder of the forces to secure this victory point, and then I think that'll be the end of the battle. Yeah, so far... Okay, so we still have two minutes to spare. All we really need to do is secure the, uh, the, the actual victory point here. So I don't know whether or not that will do it. Hopefully it will. What about over here? What has happened? They don't seem to have taken very many losses. So I'd imagine that it wasn't the cavalry who actually broke... Or, yeah, who actually broke them. Uh, so with that said, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, but hopefully any moment now that banner will switch to ours and, uh, well... Things will be good from that point on, because we've just made a giant hole in the French lines over here. <sighs> right, 10 seconds to go. Uh, not likely this thing will switch to our banners. Currently, it's still, I think, semi-contested. That might change once our people enter the building, but eh, there we go. So, uh, major victory nevertheless. Uh, well, that is, I think, our that that might be our last coverage for the game. Um, taken like I, I haven't taken a look at uh, one one of these bigger battles yet, but you know what? I'll I'll check uh, I'll check a few things w with regards to how the uh, how the computer is handling those small issues like repositioning forces and all that, and oh my god, forming um, squares like that. Um, with any luck, we might do one more video taking a look at the uh, the sandbox campaign which it, it, which again it it, re it resembles um, the total war series campaign where it truly is you have a map you have your army forces and you move around them and you fight battles like that uh, but I think that'll be for another day nevertheless if you've enjoyed this series of videos or video be sure to check out my channel and uh, well send me a subscribe if you've enjoyed the series so far because we'll be covering games like this uh, well all throughout to the year. Bye-bye for now.